Birmingham Southern College could be forced to close its doors by the end of the semester. Years of financial turmoil are coming to a head. Today, a group of students is hoping to make a difference. They came to the state capitol to see State Treasurer Young Boozer, who recently denied a $30 million loan to the college. WSFA 12 News political reporter Aaron Davis was at the rally, and Aaron, it didn't quite go as the students had hoped. That's right, Mark. They didn't quite make it to the state treasurer, but, you know, they're, they left upset, and rightfully so. In the last legislative session, lawmakers approved a bill to allow colleges in financial trouble to take loans out with the state. It was in direct response to Birmingham Southern College's current situation. BTS applied but was denied by the state treasurer. I'm in a very bad spot for my future. Quinn Nuari is one of the many students at Birmingham Southern College that are unsure about what's ahead. Without necessary funding, their school faces closure. I may not receive my degree from Birmingham Southern College. This puts me quite literally, instead of one step forward, two steps back. Students wrote letters describing what will happen if Birmingham Southern College closed. If you take away BSC, you will be not only taking away the family on campus, but also the family that lives outside of its gates. They intended to hand the letters to State Treasurer Young Boozer, who denied their university the loan. The students were told they couldn't see the treasurer without an appointment. Expecting for our letters to be given to the Alabama State Secretary, or Treasurer, I'm sorry. But his secretary's the one coming down. No one came down for the letter. So the students took a tour and used the chance to knock on the treasurer's office door where they were told no one was at work. I've spoken to people in the department. I mean, I hear people talking in there right now. Ultimately, students gave their letter to state troopers but left frustrated, disappointed, and upset. Uh, I'm going to have to go back home well, I've, well, without a degree. Well, I've already paid so much money to go to college. I'm going to. The U.S. Is a, the US is, a, is, a, is a very good place to, to, to study and get ready for the future, so that and I'm not going to be able to get that. Students and their families say the fight isn't over. Now we've got to start over all over again and, and uh, encourage our legislature to, um, to pass yet another bill removing any discretion that young Boozer might have to issue this loan to Birmingham Southern College. Now, the school did take their case to court where a judge sided with the state treasurer. In a previous statement that the treasurer made, he said that he acted in accordance with the law. His office, though, did not respond to requests for comment today. Mark? Aaron, thank you for that. Birmingham Southern's financial challenges started back in the early 2000s, and it is still working to raise the money it needs to stay open. In fact, school officials are telling students to continue to prepare for the next semester as usual.